Thanks so much, Stepanka. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay seated if, if that's okay. Um, in my role as moderator, uh, maybe the, the guests can take, I know John will probably take the podium with the slides. Um, I'm not sure about the detective superintendent. Um, okay, so as Stepanka said, I, I'm, I'm Joe Welch. I'm with 21st Century Fox, which is the, the parent company of, um, of Star, Star India. Um, although, you know, in, internally, Star India is, is, is such a large part of our, of our company um, that uh, to say we're the parent is kind of a strange feeling, particularly here in India. Um, but we, you know, we think of it as the jewel in the crown of the company is how we think of Star India there. Um, okay, so I, before we get going, I would like to just do a, a few, a few, um, a few moments, um, you know, to set up the fact that, um, that Vicky uh, is, is, has arranged um, uh, this conference here today. Um, and, and, and that Vicky um, is, um, you know, overall is in, intensely involved in issues pertaining to intellectual property um, and, and its a, you know, effective enforcement. And that means taking the lead role in raising awareness uh, of IP on a, on a national level, uh, as well as capacity building and training um, and working with the industry and enforcement agencies, uh, which includes customs, uh, the police, um, also the judiciary, um, uh, to kind of raise the quality and um, enforcement and degree of speed of adjudication, IP-related matters. Vicky has an intellectual property division, which has brought us here today in particular. Um, and they're, you know, they're the real platform for continuous interactions with government, law firms, consultants, industry, bringing everyone together um, to discuss, dialogue, research, um, discuss again, research more um, intellectual property related issues. Finally, it, the role of FICI in this arena uh, relates to advocacy, which is near and dear to many of our hearts in the room and myself included. Um, and that, you know, that's policy development. So you see the recommendations of FICI kind of hard, uh, hard baked into the, into the national uh, intellectual property policy, the first draft thereof. Um, and you see FICI's advocacy role, you know, reflected in the recent announcement by government on April 1st about shifting copyright-related matters to DIPP, the Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion. Uh, under the Ministry of Commerce, whereas prior to that, IPR had sat with Human Resources Ministry. That's a very positive development of development FICI and others have been recommending for the creative industry, for the, for the benefit of the creative industry for a couple of years. I, I, I see that was done, uh, um, you know, on April 1st, which is Friday in, uh, in, in Mumbai and some of the news coverage thereof and television.com, I'm looking at an article in particular. And you know, it's just wonderful to see, having having known that um, that that was an advocacy issue and uh, on on the table and 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 is working itself through. Vicky's policy role in general also brings us here today, which is why why we're here in in the room and on the dais. Um, it's again Vicky playing a role with regard to uh, the online advertising ecosystem and its development and policy and IPR enforcement, ways to further the development of that, of that ecosystem, uh, which includes brands and advertising uh, agencies and content companies. And that's what you're going to hear from uh, us on the, on, the, on the dais today and, and in the room. Okay, so that's the, the, the intro. And that's what um, I've been paid uh, to deliver to you. Just kidding. Um, but now uh, we're going to go, uh, if you see the program um, in your folders, um, the first, first up is a theme address by John Medeiros. Um, and so I'll do that introduction, if I may. Um, after that will be Detective Superintendent David Clark, but I'll do his introduction after, just, to, just so I'm not talking in, in a row so long. So I'll just do John, and then later I'll do. Mr. Clark. Um, okay, so John Medeiros, coming to you in a moment, is the Chief Policy Officer of CASBA, which is the Cable and Satellite Broadcasting Association of Asia. Um, 
John, in that role, um, you know, leads the association's engagement with governments and the policy community inside and outside of Asia, and um, and advocates uh, the pay TV industry's issues uh, around the region uh, and, and the world. Um, and in that role, he coordinates the association's research, education, and intellectual property enforcement activities. He's also the author of a, of a kind of semi-annual document called Regulating for Growth. Uh, catch me at a coffee break and I'll tell you more about that, uh, Regulating for Growth. Prior to CASBA, John served uh, in the U.S. Foreign Service for 28 years uh, as, a, as a diplomat. His last uh, post was uh, second in command of the embassy in Singapore. Uh, yeah, yeah, just stuck. Yeah, soon it's going to be 30. Um, and John is originally from Massachusetts, uh, a little bit south of Boston, the Cape Cod area, which is actually coincidentally exactly where I'm from. So John and I share that. We're from the Cape Cod area, or somewhere between Boston and Cape Cod for myself. And John holds a master's degree in international finance and communications from the Fletcher School of Law and Diplomacy, which is also in Boston um, at Tufts University. Okay, that's John's introduction. His topic, uh, as you can see from your program, uh, is not listed, but uh, he's going to get right to it. 